Guys, welcome to another video. Now, I recently came across this article which was titled Artificial Turf is a Potential Factor in the Cancer Deaths of Six Philadelphia Phillies Players, or Former Philadelphia Phillies Players. Uh, these were Tug McGraw, Darren Dalton, John Vukovic, John Oates, Ken Brett, and David West. All of them died due to a deadly brain cancer known as glioblastoma, which is a relatively rare form of cancer. This brain cancer and the link with their environment where they're playing um, in Veterans Stadium. Uh, this was the artificial turf that they used in Veterans Stadium from 1971 to 2003 being the common thread there. So the big question is, is there more than just a coincidence that they all played on this artificial turf and they all had this deadly brain cancer all of them died roughly in the age range of 40s to their 50s so pfas is an acronym for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances and these are a group of synthetic chemicals that have been used in a wide variety of consumer products including cookware these chemicals are essentially everywhere in our environment and are bioaccumulative meaning they can persist in the environment and accumulate in the tissues of animals and humans in other words these chemical compounds don't break down naturally. PFASs, they consist of more than 5,000 different chemicals that share certain properties and are highly resistant to heat, to water, and to oil, which makes them useful in a wide variety of applications. They've been used in products such as non-stick coatings for cookware, stain-resistant fabrics, firefighting foams, and yes, artificial turf. PFAS can be ingested, inhaled and absorbed through the skin or even enter the body through open wounds. All artificial turf contains PFAS and some types are still produced with recycled tires that contain other toxic chemicals like heavy metals, benzene, volatile organic compounds, and other carcinogens. And there's actually a growing number of U.S. cities and states that have either banned or proposed banning them. Benzene is a colorless, flammable liquid. It's commonly used in the production of plastics, synthetic fibers, and other industrial products like some types of artificial turf. Exposure to high levels of benzene can cause damage to the bone marrow, leading to genetic mutations in those cells and the subsequent development of leukemia. The risk of leukemia increases with both the duration and the level of exposure to benzene. Now, as of right now, benzene hasn't been linked to brain cancer, but it's at least plausible. One of the most well-known PFAS chemicals is perfluorooctanoic acid, or PFOA, which has been used in the production of non-stick coatings for cookware, such as Teflon. PFOA has been shown to be persistent in the environment and to accumulate in the tissues of animals and humans. It's also been linked to a variety of health effects, including cancer, reproductive and developmental problems, and immune system dysfunction. In response to the growing concerns about the potential health effects of PFAS, some manufacturers of cookware have started to phase out the use of these chemicals in their products. For example, in 2013, DuPont announced that it would no longer use PFOAs in the production of Teflon. However, it's important to note that many other companies still use PFAS in the production of cookware, and it's still possible to find cookware that contains these chemicals on the market. One of the main concerns about PFAS and cookware is the potential for these chemicals to leach into the food during that cooking process. Now, in addition, PFAS can also be released from cookware into the environment during the production, use, and disposal of all these cookware products. And this can actually lead to contamination of the soil, water, and air. Now, what about the possible link between PFAS and brain cancer specifically? Well, there's very limited data on this, especially because glioblastoma, it's a relatively rare disease. But based on this recent study, there is some evidence though. These researchers looked at a total of 137 glioma, meaning cancer tissues, and 40 non-glioma brain tissue samples from patients. So 137 tissues that were cancer and then 40 that were non-cancer. They then analyzed those samples for 17 different PFAS compounds, and the total concentrations of PFAS in glioma cases were slightly higher than those in non-glioma, but the difference was considered to be statistically significant. But this study hardly proves or disproves anything. So right now, it's impossible to prove that baseball players' cancers were caused by PFAS from the artificial turf. But it's also impossible to disprove, especially when you have so many different possible chemicals that could be possibly causing this, combined with such a rare disease of glioblastoma, it's gonna be really hard to prove or disprove. 
But at the same time, it's also hard to ignore six Philadelphia Phillies baseball players all dying of the same diagnoses around the same age in that same, t- in that same time frame with all of them having played on that artificial turf. So is it a coincidence? There's no concrete answer right now. The age group in which these baseball players died in their 40s and their 50s is the same age group that does have a higher risk for glioblastoma, which means that these could skew the results. There's also other factors that could be contributing like pesticides used on grass fields when they would play in other stadiums, uh, chewing tobacco, drug use, or even possibly concussions. In the US, there's an estimated 12,000 total synthetic turf fields and at least 1,200 more are installed every year. Only five professional baseball teams still use artificial turf, but there's actually 14 NFL stadiums that use it. There are still so many dangerous chemicals in our environment that most people don't even know about, especially because there's so many of them. But I did make another video on dangerous chemicals in our environment that you can check out right here if that's something you want to do right now.